Hey community of awesome, I'm Gabe and this is Bookish Pixie. So last time I started a short how I write vlog series beginning with plotting and first drafting. This time I'm going to talk about all the stuff that comes after, namely a load of revisions. So let's get started. I frequently said that I enjoy revising more than I enjoy first drafting because that's when you get to take the story that you started putting together and you make it better and you bring it closer to the version of the book that you originally imagined when you came up with this idea and hopefully make it even better than that version and that is really cool. Of course it's also a lot of work so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the process I'm going to share with you is in an ideal world, so it's the idealized version of my process, which I don't always get to do. To start, after I finish the first draft, I always take a break. Ideally, I like to take at least a month off. I find that that gives me enough time to develop distance between myself and the manuscript so that when I'm looking at it again, I can look at it from a fresh perspective and it's a lot easier to find the flaws that way. Also, writing is exhausting and you should take breaks because you don't want to burn your out. After my break period is over, then I do my first read through. When I'm doing my first read through, I do not make any edits. This is a point when I make no changes to the manuscript whatsoever. Instead, I take notes on what I need to fix. In the first read through, I'm looking for overarching problems. I don't want to pay attention to line edits quite yet because I'm going to be fixing major things, which means deleting scenes and rewriting scenes completely and changing things around and moving things around. And if you spend too much time with line editing this early on, you're likely to have to redo your work all over again. And that's just a waste of everyone's time. So here I'm thinking about plot, pacing, world building, character development, all of those major overarching elements. Once I finished reading the entire manuscript from beginning to end and taken copious notes on things I need to fix, that's when I begin to actually revise. Typically, I like to revise in passes. I've already done a vlog about what that means, so I'll link to that below. How many times I have to go through the manuscript or how many rounds of revisions that I do really depends uh, manuscript to manuscript. Also depends on how much time I have, but typically I'm going through it like at least three times. And then, once all of that is done, I know the manuscript is nowhere near finished, however I've made all of the changes that I can possibly see at this stage, and now it needs new eyes. So this is when I send it to my critique partners. I want to emphasize here that critique partners are so, so important. I really want to encourage you to get critique partners if you don't have any, and I've done a vlog about where you can find them, so I'll link to that below as well. Now, in an ideal world, I send it to critique partners a couple times. You know, if I'm working with two critique partners, that might mean I'll send it to one first, get their notes, do those revisions, and then send it to another. Or if I'm working with more than two critique partners, which I have done in the past, I'll sometimes send it to two at first, get their notes, revise it, and then send it to the third. If I'm on deadline, usually I only have time for one round of revision, so that means I'll send it to both of my critique partners, get their notes back, do the revisions, and then send it off to my editor. Once I've done all of that, <laughs> and then either send it to my editor if it's a book that's already under contract, or to my agent if it's going on submission, the work is still nowhere near done. Whether it goes to my agent or my editor, I know I'm going to get some notes back. <laughs> so that means, yes, more revisions. If you have an agent and you're preparing it for submission, whether or not you do revisions with your agent very much just depends on your agent. I always do with mine, which is something that I enjoy. Um, but I do know that means I'm going to do revisions with my agent and then it's going to go on submission and if someone buys it, I'm then going to do more revisions with my new editor. Writing a book takes a lot of work and a lot of time, but the gratification of having a completed story at the end that you completely made up, that you then get to share with others and hold in your hand, totally worth it. As a final note, I'm also going to take more questions for another Ask Me Anything, so if you have any questions about this whole process I've described, or about publishing, or books, or writing in general, put them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Additionally, as a reminder, if you see a question in the comments that you'd also like answered, make sure you give it a thumbs up because that's how I know which questions to look at first. So that's what I got for today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and comment, and I'll see you all soon.